But Honorable Speaker, I stand to support. Parliament has once again given the government the go-ahead to borrow more money, piling pressure on the country's already bloated public debt. Will as many as of that opinion say, aye? Aye! Will as many as of contrary opinion say, no? No! The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Yes, have it. MPs on Wednesday afternoon unanimously approved a notice from Treasury proposing a change in the law to increase the cap for state borrowing to 9 trillion shillings, citing lack of liquidity in the economy and denying any links between the high cost of living and increased government borrowing. The issue of restructuring our loans seriously. We must retire all commercial loans because in 2012, the commercial loans were at 8 percent. Right now, they are over 36 percent, which is very serious. The government is not spending. Since when, Honorable Speaker, did you see in this country that on almost on the 10th of October, not a single shilling of development expenditure has been sent out to government ministries, even your own CDF? Those who have been here long enough can tell us, Honorable Speaker, that by now at least we would have him, be having money for bursary, at least the first 20 million shillings for our bursary funds. Today, not a shilling of our bursary has been disbursed. The amended law restricts public debt at half the gross domestic product GDP in a move that will allow the National Treasury to borrow an additional 3 trillion shillings in the coming years, increasing the country's public debt to 9.1 trillion shillings by July 2023. 9 trillion shillings, Honorable Speaker, all that Kenyans and here I tell also Kenyans. All that Kenyans are doing, uh, 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 we are being asked to do, Honorable Speaker, is for everybody to understand that the nine trillion is just a ceiling up to the year June 2024. We have borrowed heavily and sometimes spent money in a very awkward manner, Mr. Speaker, to the extent where we almost convinced me that this money now must, might be spent in good manner, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, look at the monies that were borrowed in, for Kamwarer. Aror, so you what? All these monies went down the drain, Mr. Speaker. Went to people's pockets, Mr. Speaker. Confidence that we have is because we have seen the fight against corruption that has been going on, Mr. Speaker. And we are confident that the president will continue to crack down on corruption, and that way Kenyans can be confident that their money if borrowed will be put to the correct use. We As of June this year, the country's public debt stood at 5.7 trillion shillings following a consistent increase in government borrowing since 2013, with economists raising alarm over the debt burden on the economy. Daniel Karioki, K24 News Cut.